Hello, brothers and sisters. Um, this is my first time that I will do a video in English because I, feel, I believe in my heart that the Lord will um, is raising up pastors and teachers after his own heart. That is what, that is what he has spoken in the book of Jeremiah and then uh, chapter 3 and then ver verse 15. He says, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So, as you know, brothers and sisters, there, is so, there are so many teachings um, in this world, and truly we must um, prove. Brother Paul said, prove everything, examine everything, and hold on to that which is good. So, I um, ask of you, I beseech you with all my heart, that we all would prove what we hear and um, examine it. See if it's from the Bible, if it's from the Word of God, and then hold on to it. In this, my first uh, session, I want to speak to you about the basic principles of, of Christianity. What is Christianity? What, is, um, what does God want from us? How, who is He? And what He wants from us? Well, the basic principle in the Bible, um, the first one, is that God declares that we are sinners. We have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That is what the Bible says. We have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The first thing that God wants us to do is to repent. That is what's stated in Acts 2, chapter, um, Acts 2 uh, verse 38. It says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the forgiveness of sins. And you shall receive the Holy Spirit. So, what we must do is repent. Brother Paul speaks about repentance toward God and faith toward the Lord Jesus Christ. What we must understand is that we must repent. To repent means is that I must change my thinking. And I also must change my behavior. For if um, I repent and have no works, then is my repentance dead. My faith is dead. And that is what, exactly what the Brother Paul says. He says, um, I think it's stated in um, Acts 26, let me search for it, or maybe it is 25, yes, it's 26, and then verse 20, it says, but showed first unto them of Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coasts of Judea and then to Gentiles that they should repent and turn to God, repent and turn to God and do works meet for repentance. If we repent, if I am a sinner, if I'm a, I'm a stealer, I'm a, a immoral person and I repent, then I must stop. I must stop with my immorality. I must stop with sinning. That means that I have truly repented. True repentance, he says, works and do works meet for repentance. My, the works that I do by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of God, they show that I have truly repented toward God and that I have faith toward the Lord Jesus Christ. So, we need to truly repent and have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord, as our Savior. And the Bible says that if we confess with our mouth, with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God has raised them from the dead, that we shall be saved. And then he says, Romans 10, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus Christ is our Savior. If we put our trust in Him, if we believe in Him, we will be saved and we will inherit eternal life as God has promised us. 
So to repent is to change my mind and to agree with the word of God. And in, 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 in by nature, by nature received from Adam, by nature I, I, my, my mind is against God. I am the enemy of God in my mind. So when I repent, I come in agreement with the word of God and I change my mind. And if I truly repent, then I will show works by the power of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit that are, these works are meat for repentance, are meat for repentance. So that is uh, the, the, the idea that I wanted to share with you. Um, I do not want to make a long video. This is my first video. But just wanted to share with you the truth. Jesus Christ said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. I believe with all my heart. And that is why I'm, why I'm doing this video that there are so many people that are seeking the truth. They hear so many things. They hear so many teachings. But by the grace of God, I have now told you the true teaching about repentance. That we must turn to God with all our heart, for He loves us. So we repent because we love the truth. I pray with all my heart that we, all of us, that we would have a true heart, a sincere heart that would love Jesus, that would seek Jesus with all our might, with all our strength. We will seek Him. We will love Him. And that we would do works that are meet for repentance. We must have true faith, living faith in Jesus Christ. So, to my brothers and sisters, and to all that are hearing me that do want to know, to know the truth, we, the first ba basic principle for Christianity is that we must repent. We must repent. We must go back to God, turn to God, to the true God, and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. We must turn to God and have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. This is my first video. I will soon be making my new, um, my second video. So um, I pray that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen.